Well, fortunately, we have people like you <laughs> and the Mauthausen Memorial team that took some of the camps and uh, turned them into, into living memorials. And people, school groups come and visit, people from all over the world could go to Auschwitz, to, to Mauthausen, to Bergen-Belsen, and, uh, and, and are able to see the sites. I think the testimonies of the, uh, of the survivors are really important. The, um, after Spielberg made Schindler's List, he began to, uh, he established a project at the University of S Southern California to do as many survivors interviews, videotape interviews as they could, as they could all around the world. And they hired crews and went everywhere. And they even found some of the survivors I worked with and interviewed them for that project. I gotta say what, when I did my work and it was again, early on, it was the first, the first times really for most survivors that they would tell their stories before all the museums and, and Schindler's List and all the publicity for survivors so that they didn't have to feel shame anymore, that they could be proud that they survived and, and had a story to tell, was that they thought if they tell their story, this will never happen again. People would be so outraged at the inhumanity and, and the just cruelty and would be disgusted and make sure no sort of fascist government would ever arise anywhere to do this sort of genocide. Well, unfortunately that's not the case. And it, we saw in Africa, the Tutsi uh, Hutu uh, genocide, Yugoslavia, there's something about humankind that lends itself to uh, this sort of brutality. The survivors, the ones I did, I photographed survivors in Paris and in the US and the ones, especially in the US held, had a lay, level of comfort that for themselves and their children and their grandchildren that I think that they would be disgusted and horrified to see the rise of, of far right, Trump, Trump supporting um, you know, uh, militia, uh, basically fascists. Yeah, it can happen anywhere. And, and that's been a disappointing lesson. We still have the, the stories by these people. We have to tell their stories. We, we have to know that this, that humanity is capable of the greatest things. We can go to the moon or Mars and, and the worst things, this, the slaughter of innocent of children. What's worse than that? Mm -hmm.